Hi everyone, welcome back to Falcon's House. Um, today I'm going to be doing my Eve Spectrum firmware update. The firmware update's actually been out for a while at this point, since about September, the end of September. So it isn't like it wasn't out available as soon as I got my monitor. I just kind of was waiting to see if they pushed out any other updates and it's kind of a pain to do this update. So it isn't like I was just ignoring it. I just didn't care that much because like I've mostly been using the monitor for productivity and not for gaming. So but today I decided that I just want to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to have to move a USB. -C, a U I'm going to use USB B because I don't have a USB C data cable that I can connect in. I'm going to kind of see, like, I might need to connect it directly to the computer instead of through a hub, which is kind of annoying, but we'll see. I'm taking the USB-B cable from my Alienware to do it, so we'll see. It's kind of going to be interesting to see how this all goes, um, but it's supposed to fix some HDR issues and some other additional support on Xbox for different compatibility, and maybe it should look better. I'm also going to probably be doing some PS5 tests on this side, but not necessarily do full comparisons because I'm waiting to replace the bulb in my projector and then so like comparing things right now it's just too dim to make it a real good comparison. Um, so I'm gonna, so here's what the, so you basically you go to their website and then you download, go to support and downloads and you download the update, it gives you a zip file and then it gives you this little tool that you then have, you plug in your actual update file and then it'll do the update. So I need to still connect my USB cable so I'm going to stop, do that, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I've updated, I've started the update, I plugged in my USB B to A cable and plugged it into my um, USB hub and it picked it up fine, like it sees it and it's updating. So that should go straight forward. Then what I'll have to do is the next step is it'll tell me to power cycle the monitor when it's done and then I'll just unplug it for five seconds. Then I'll plug it back in and turn it back on and that should be the end of the update. So it actually was, it was pretty straightforward and that should help me with like some other stuff. While this is running, I'm gonna go grab my PS5 and so I can start testing that a little bit. <laughs> 